for joining me today. Hope everyone is having a good time and like always, staying healthy. Right now we're currently getting some snow. I think we have a little bit over an inch on the ground right now. So, you know, like usual, I wanted to see how the roads are and I wanted to go see some pretty places. So stay tuned. Now, unfortunately, looks like the highway department has been doing a pretty good job of keeping the roads clean. So I'm hoping that some back roads will be a little bit more snow covered and we can have a little bit of fun. Just jumping off the highway onto another closed course and looks like this they haven't touched this one either uh, they have but they haven't this one will connect up actually yeah they have this one's gonna connect up to another one so hopefully it'll be fun looks like the other but they have treated it So I think I'm going to test out my tires a little bit more and go down up here, which is unplowed, but people have been driving down it. But it's got a pretty nice hill on it and it doesn't lead to a pond, it leads to the parking lot and then I can walk to the pond. But I'm thinking I should go for it. So I just went a little bit further up there and it's not difficult in the tracks. It's once I get outside of the tracks like that, then it starts to become difficult. I do know that hill is pretty difficult. I know I'm saying difficult a lot, but it is pretty hard. So I'm kind of wanting to err on the side of caution because I'm not trying to spend the rest of the day out here. It is pretty, it is almost like three o'clock. So. I'm going to pull up there a little bit further and just check it out and then I'll make a better decision. So if I am to continue, I think that the only smart thing would be in four low and lock the rear diff with A-Track active. Just to give me all the goodies, I feel like that'll probably be the best idea. So I'm just going to creep up to the hill. There's no problem, like I said, when I'm on the track. It's just when I get off of it. And that hill... Ooh, I'm not trying to spend the <laughs> whole day out here. That actually turned out to be a bust. I got a little bit further down and I just didn't, this, if you would even get like a centimeter off of the track, you just got sucked into that snow and it was like a foot deep and it was just, it was just not something I was looking to do. So I literally just spent about 30 minutes backing up not even a two tenths of a mile because every time I go a little bit just a tedious bit not on the tracks that I just came I'd be sucked in and I'd have to drive forward to get into the tracks that I just came from so I was not really looking forward to if I had gotten like a little bit off the tracks coming back up I don't think I would have been able to keep going I, then I don't think I would have been able to get back on the tracks and I would have kind of got just like sideways around there it just wouldn't have been good so I decided I'll stick to the less maintained to the less maintained closed courses out here and have some fun that way.
basement and just trying to make it up this. Let's see, I might need four wheel drive. great we did test the tires it was really nice to see how well they did actually wow Just spun right around that's how slippery it is Jeez. and foot's to the floor we're just sliding so we're just gonna go down i'm not gonna try to stop really <laughs> let's try a second gear maybe that'll do us yeah it gives us a little bit of a Exploring basically. I think we'll probably get on to the real destination right now, actually. 